Hey, I don't mind that you did, but I don't know why I left a bunch of comments on this video uh, as I watched. I'm not sure I'll remember them all, but then I found out you had disabled comments, but maybe while I was leaving them or something weird, because it did seem at first to let me do it. But anyway, um, yeah, well, I think it's everything that you, you say there makes sense. First of all, okay, I'm sorry if I'm the one that got him backwards, which is possible, but um, it does make more sense with rationality as deductive. I do see the link there, because with rationality, as I say, you're taking comparisons, perceptions. Uh, the perceptions are actually rational elements, uh, at least if they're sense perceptions, and I think in a, in a, uh, we can argue that they're all rational in this, in this one sense. Um, the errors in the rationality, of course, uh, can happen um, because the perceptions can be false facts or misleading or whatnot. But that's the point of comparing a lot of them. You know, it comes out in the wash, and we statistically can can it can weed out which uh, which of the perceptions don't seem factual, even by accepting them all initially as, as factual. So what I mean is, we have it's like data processing. It's, it is data processing. And you have a bunch of facts, some of which are in error. And you, you, you first you assume that they are facts. You treat them as facts. But when, when you combine enough of them, it, some of them will start to stand out as, as apparent outliers that are either, um, either then, you know, can be detected as, as errors or at the very least, you know, just get the status as enigmas that have not been or can't be explained. And the, the ones that are, uh, that compare more consistently with with um, with the others are um, are taken in as, as the new fact set then you do data processing on this new fact set and as you do that you get more abstraction more refined knowledge certain aspects of the knowledge improve other aspects are distorted um, I, I you know the process of thinking about what these things aren't is, is a good process and, and I and I guess um, I think I've done that but I wouldn't say it was the origin of my idea but um, you know, to be irrational means that you haven't taken any measurements into account that pertain to the subject matter. You're being irrational. You're not, you're not taking direct facts into account. And facts that happens are relative, and that's where the, the relativity and the ratio comes in. In other words, the only way to measure something is through a ratio, right? You have a yardstick, and you compare that with something else. And you see how big it is compared with the yardstick. And by doing that, then every time you compare a yardstick to a new... Uh, to a new thing, you're automatically comparing that new thing to all the other things you've compared the yardstick to. So that's where the rationality, same with, uh, you know, if someone's unreasonable, then they either have no uh, uh, reasons, appear to have no reasons, or, uh, or more likely the reasons are um, are dysfunctional. You know, it's it's like, you know, you know what I mean? It's like somebody is is a, a fascist politically because of the way they were raised is the reason and, and the reason does not really follow a logical inference and um, and so that's what it means to be unreasonable is, is to not have or not give uh, a reason and um, at all and then uh, illogic is to make a uh, an incorrect inference so um, but they do, they do tend to match up. The rationality, as I said, is, is inductive. I think reasons, um, uh, it's, it's not a perfectly clean matching. It's not a perfect mapping like they're, they're the exact same thing. There's a little bit of mixing, you know. The inductive and deductive share different, uh, uh, you know, a different relationship as a dichotomy as, a, as opposed to rationality and reasonable, which are not a dichotomy. Uh, they're just separate, you know, ideas about, about thinking. But, it, but the, they are related. There's a big overlap because with reason, I think, yes, we use reasons to uh, predict the future and to do things that, that are making implicit guesses about the future. Um, so, so, yeah, that's the... Um, so that's interesting, and thanks for the feedback. Um, I'm not sure where it goes from here, except for that, I, you know, I'm interested in your ideas on this subject. I think I think this was interesting. Uh, I wouldn't necessarily, faced with a, a system like yours, I mean, the, the main thing, I think, is that people need to have a system and be consistent applying it. And over the long run, we'll find out, you know, what works and what doesn't work. And your system, I think, is, you know, is a, is a good system. I prefer mine. I think it's sharper, but that could just be because I'm used to it. So anyway, thanks for the feedback.